Her appointment is 7 p.m. We got to get this done. Let's go. Quit wasting time. You know I can edit you out. I know. When I edit this, <laughs> I can edit you out to where I get the last word. Okay. Whatever you think. Well, good morning, guys. How you doing? Well, guess what? It's not morning. I figured if I'm going to start a video today, I better get it going. We have traveled 360 miles already today before I started a video. I do apologize, but I am darn glad that you guys caught a ride. To retake I am darn glad you guys caught a ride with somebody and you were able to keep up with us we're hauling butt a little bit today um, it's a little bit of a mixture of wanting to be done and it's the exact same trip we made last week or exact same trip we made a couple days ago tires are good we're not going to check fluids today. We're going to live on the dangerous side and just risk it all. <sighs> Warren, how you doing today? Because I'm panting like a stuck dog. I'm doing good. Are you? I am. Okay. You're not going to stab me anymore, right? No. If you guys have not seen her stab me yet, you need to go to yesterday's video. She stabbed me. The day is still young. She beat me up. She stabbed me. Alrighty, just a little reminder guys, this is a daily vlog, please subscribe to it, I think you'll like it, it's, it's growing I think. And if you like the video at the end of it, throw a like down there, Always, don't forget that, apparently that's important to YouTube too. Um, what else, here let's blabber some more, I really don't have much to say, you know, I'm gonna, I got something planned a little bit later on today, I, I think, uh, I think it might involve her again. She's, I don't know what he's planning now. She's like a YouTube sensation. It's my looks. They love her. You guys love her. You guys love her. <laughs> I'm a likable person. What can I say? We're going to end on that note. We have enjoyed our time together. It's day five. We're still getting along. We have not killed each other yet. The day is young, and we still have another day together, so we'll see. We'll go from there. He forgets I have to have the last word. In every fight. <laughs> In everything. In everything. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys. Now we are heading for Evansville, Indiana. Let's get going. Yep, let's go. All right, we're going to head down there. That way we can get loaded. Sounds good. Our appointment is 7 p.m. We got to get this done. Let's go. Quit wasting time. You know I can edit you out. I know. When I edit this, <laughs> I can edit you out to where I get the last word. Okay. Whatever you think. Bye, guys. We've arrived in Evansville, Indiana. We are at a plastic place right now, plastic factory, I guess you could say. It's another load going up to Lamar's, Iowa, so it's a food grade product. They want the trailer clean. I should have stopped and got a washout. 
Luckily they have uh, a nice little sweep out station here, so we're just going to go ahead and sweep this up real quick. I'll be back with you in a little bit here. dirty well guess what guys I think I got warden talked into giving you guys a tour of first class I told her I hadn't done it yet she was looking at me weird I think she kind of knew what was coming next I think she'll do it all right let's get back into a door or see if warden or give you guys a little tour of first class here Yeah, so Warden is in there making fun of me right now, being mean. She's saying, what in the world? You had to pull forward. You couldn't hit that spot in one shot? <sighs> right when I think I can impress Warden by being a truck driver, having a nice truck, she goes and says something like that. I mean, my mighty truck I personally driver. find that very offensive. Very offensive. My Oh, now I'm your mighty truck driver. You I turned the camera on. You're nice to me. I am. I'm five, a very nice person. Five days into this, and her true, uh, her true colors are coming out. Camera comes on, she's happy. Camera goes off, she's either beating me up, yelling at me for something. Is that right? No, she's doing real good, guys. Like what I said before, let's crawl in here and see if she'll give you guys a little tour of first class. I'm supposed to get out of my own truck again. He wants me to give you a tour, but then he wants to control how I give the tour and what I do. I'm telling him to get out and just let me be in charge. This is first class. It's my baby. I get that, but I know what I'm talking about okay. too. All right, all right, well. All right, give me the camera. All right, I finally got him out of here. So I'm going to give you the Sarah tour of the truck. Now, I want you to remember, I've only been in the truck. Make sure you show them the table. One other time. And it was in the middle of winter, and I wasn't moving a whole lot because I had blankets on. Okay, now, this is what I learned this time, okay? Over here, we have our cleaning supplies that we must clean every single day because of the COVID-19. Plus, we were cleaning before because he was kind of anal. All right, up on top, we got our microwave, we got our toaster. Um, word of advice, don't microwave going down the road. It's a little difficult. You got to kind of hang on. All right. As you can see back here, this is where I've been sleeping at night. This is where Kurt's been sleeping at night. The couch is not as wide as up here, but it does fold out like a futon. But then you have this metal bar on your back and it hurts. And so I let him deal with that. Over here, I found these out just last night. We have light switches. See, they turn on and off. It's kind of cool. <laughs> I just found that out last night. Okay, but I did know that this was a light up here because that's what I've been using to read. Okay, then over here we have our food cabinet. Here's here's our first food cab. Oh, Kurt's waving here. See, now he's being the dork. Okay, so we have our food cabinet, clothes cabinet, closed cabinet. Up here he has a TV and I bought him a fire stick for it, but he doesn't use it because he's too busy editing his videos. All right. And then I'm supposed to show you this because I just found this out too when I first came. Okay. So you see this cabinet here? Watch. I was totally amazed. It folds to a table. 
Yeah, see that? I did not know that that was going on. So then that's where I've been eating my breakfast. And then he has all these cereal. And down here he's got his plates, okay? So this is Kurt's living area when he's in the truck. Now you may be wondering, he has a fridge and he has like this little cooler thing. He has the cooler to put all of his drinks in because for one, it's easier to reach while he's driving. For two, that way he can put more food in his fridge. The fridge is down there by the garbage. So, and if you ever put anything away and it's not in the right spot, he'll tell you and then you have to fix it, okay? So I'm supposed to show you all of his chrome. This is what he sees when he drives. All these little doohickeys, don't ask me what they do. I don't know, I didn't even know how to start the truck the other day. I do now. So, and, and let me show you something else I found out. Okay, see how on his door, there's a handle to roll down the window? There is not one on my door. So I found out to roll down my window, I have to push this button up here. And I'm like, but you're the one who can reach the button. And he goes, cause usually there's only a driver. I didn't think about that. So yes, this is Kurt's area up here. See, he's got his sanitizer and his wallet and his couple phone spots to put his phone. He's got his Jarvis. He's got our kids' pictures. Do you notice there is no picture of me? It's like I don't exist in here and he wonders why I have such issues. All right, I will give you back over to him because, you know, he's kind of a control freak. All right. Bye guys. Well, we're loaded up. Morgan got to feel what it's like to wait to get loaded. It took him about four hours to get us loaded with this load. So I got some pent up energy. So we got some driving to do. First, before we go taking off down the interstate though, first class is in serious need of a bath. We're gonna swing up here to the beacon, get her all washed up nice and clean for it can rain on it tomorrow. Gotta try to keep it a little bit clean, right? Alright, I'll see you guys in a little bit.